The sun emits electromagnetic radiation with a wide range of wavelengths. Only a small proportion of this radiation can be detected by our senses. This portion of wavelengths is known as visible light or white light. White light is a combination of seven different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. The different colors of visible light can be seen in the spectrum formed when white light is dispersed through a prism or when a rainbow is seen. The color of light is related to its wavelength. Visible light is made up of wavelengths that range between 700 nanometers and 400 nanometers. Red light has a longer wavelength of 700 nanometers and is refracted less by the prism than violet light which has a shorter wavelength of 400 nanometers. The colors in between have wavelengths between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. The two extremes of the visible spectrum. All of the waves of the various colors have the same speed which can be calculated with the equation V is equal to F lambda or velocity is equal to frequency multiplied by wavelength. This implies that the wavelength must become shorter if the frequency increases in order for the velocity to remain constant. In other words, the colors of the spectrum increase in wavelength and decrease in frequency as we move through the spectrum from violet light to red light. In this presentation, we shall look at how the colors are combined to bring about the range of colors that we can see around us. The different colors in nature can be made in two ways. By combining light of different wavelengths, this is known as color by addition or additive coloring. By removing some wavelengths of white light so that only the wavelengths of certain colors remain, these remaining wavelengths determine the colored appearance of an object. This is known as color by subtraction or subtractive coloring. Let's look at these two different methods in more detail. Color by addition means adding different colors of light in different combinations to create new colors. This process requires just three colors, red, blue and green. These three colors are known as the primary colors. If all three primary colors are combined then white light is formed. We can also combine the primary colors in three other combinations to form three new colors. Red and blue light combine to form light with the color magenta. Red and green light combine to form light with the color yellow. Green and blue light combine to form the color cyan. As magenta, cyan and yellow light are made by combining the three primary colors in different combinations, they are known as secondary colors. We saw that white light can be made by combining all three of the primary colors. So it makes sense that you can also make white light by adding the light of one primary color to the secondary color that is created by the addition of light by the other two primary colors. For example, white light can be made by adding the primary color red to light the secondary color cyan. This is because cyan is created by the addition of blue and green. And so the combination of cyan and red effectively combines all three primary colors. The same principle applies to adding together green and magenta, or blue and yellow. Any two colors that can combine together to form white light are called complementary colors. The result of adding together the different colors can be neatly summarized in this diagram that shows the basic primary and secondary color combinations that can be formed by the addition of light. Other colors can be formed by mixing cyan, magenta and yellow light in various combinations and intensities. The principle for the addition of light to create colors is the basis for LCD televisions and computer screens. The colors and pictures you see are created by combining millions of dots known as pixels. Each pixel contains a small red, green and blue light and the different combinations and intensities of these lights combine to give us the wide variety of colors we see on the screen. We have discussed how light of different colors can be created by mixing light of different wavelengths. Colors can also be created by the selective absorption of light of different wavelengths. The color of light that is absorbed 
depends on the interaction between the frequency of a light wave and the frequency of vibration of electrons in the material. This way of colouring objects is known as colour by subtraction. In the formation of colour by subtraction, an object will absorb some frequencies of the white light that is incident on it, whereas other frequencies will not be absorbed. Because some light is absorbed, the object then takes on the colour of the light that has not been absorbed, or subtracted by the object. For example, if an object absorbs all of the wavelengths of white light, except the red wavelengths, then the object will appear to be red in colour. The exact frequencies of light that are absorbed by an object depend on the atoms that make up the object. There are two ways in which subtraction of light can lead to the colouring of an object. These are selective transmission and selective absorption. Objects that are transparent have colour because they will allow certain frequencies of white light to pass through while other frequencies will be absorbed. This is known as selective transmission. For example, when white light is shone through blue glass, the light coming through the glass looks blue because the glass selectively absorbed all the other wavelengths of the white light and only allowed the transmission of wavelengths that correspond to blue light. Opaque objects are objects that have colour but do not allow light to pass through them. Opaque objects have colour because they selectively absorb certain wavelengths of white light whereas others are reflected. The addition of the reflected light waves gives the object its colour. For example, a green leaf is green because the leaf absorbs all the frequencies of white light, except green, and so only the green light is reflected away from the leaf and seen by the observer. Pigments are chemicals that are used as colouring agents in paints and dyes. Pigments give colour to materials by selectively absorbing light of some frequencies and reflecting light of other frequencies. The colour of the pigment depends on the reflected light waves. Pigments therefore provide colour by the subtraction of light as discussed earlier. When you mix paints of different colours, the individual pigments of the mixed paints continue to absorb light in the same way as they did when they were found in the original paints. The colour of the new mixed paint now depends on the combination of the reflected frequencies created by the mixing of the two pigments. What is important to realise here is that the colour created by mixing coloured pigments is due to the colours that are not absorbed. When mixing pigments and creating colours by the subtraction of light, the primary pigments of cyan, magenta and yellow are used. This is different to red, blue and green, which are the primary colours used when creating colours by the addition of light. A cyan coloured pigment appears cyan because it absorbs red light and reflects blue and green light. Likewise, a magenta pigment is magenta because it absorbs green light and reflects red and blue. And a yellow pigment absorbs blue and reflects green and red. If you combine paints containing the three primary pigments, then the magenta pigment will also absorb green light. The yellow pigment will absorb blue light and the cyan pigment will absorb the red light. If it happens that all the colours of the incident light are absorbed and none are reflected, then we have black paint. In general, objects that are black contain pigments that absorb all of the light that is incident on them, whereas objects that appear white reflect all the light. A summary of the effects combining the different primary pigments to create colours by subtraction is shown in this picture. In summary, we have seen that white light is made up of a combination of light of different wavelengths and frequencies known as the spectrum. Colour can be created in two ways. If light of two or more different colours is combined, 
then color formation is done by the addition of light. All colors can be created by the addition of three primary colors, red, blue, and green. If an object absorbs some frequencies of light while reflecting others, then the color of the object depends on the reflected light. And the process is known as color by subtraction. Pigments give color to objects in this way. Really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Uh huh. Silence, please.